when I be making these type of videos, don't nobody be trolling me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody be trolling me. The cocksuckers don't show up when I make these kind of videos. You know what I mean? You check it. The fanboys, the fanatics of certain fighters. When I make a video about the man um, Ryan Garcia or something, talk, talk, saying that he's talking crazy and ain't fighting nobody, ooh, they be in their feelings, man. They come in my comment sections. Man, they be so mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, it be that time of the month for these guys. You know what I mean? When I make a video about Anthony Joshua, ooh, these people be mad. They be coming from them channels that be um, dick riding uh, these, these boxers. You know what I mean? Like an Anthony Joshua or something. You know? They only watch the popular fighters. You know what I mean? Well, this is B-Marsh Boxing, my guy. Brethren, I cover boxing from all weight classes, from all, all across the globe. You know what I'm saying? I ain't just limited to just talking about Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder or Tyson Fury. Oh, how about when I talk about Lomachenko? Even giving him props. Some of his uh, fanatics, his fanboys, they still just... I don't know. They just be in their feelings and they come up in my comment sections talking crazy or in my chat. You know what I mean? Oh, what about when I make a video about Tank Davis? Because, you know, more times than many... I'm not really talking nothing positive about Tank Davis. Not because I don't like him. It's because of the, how the guy moves in this boxing game. You know what I mean? I made a video saying that both him and Tank, da both Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia will duck Devin Haney. Time will tell. As of, as of right now, I stand 100% correct. You know what I mean? Yeah, when I make a video about Tank, maybe, maybe there's one dude, man, he only shows up. Only I had to flame him up. And told the man, fuck is wrong with you, dogs? Why you only show up when I make a video about Tank Davis? And, and you just don't... And you write me a whole soliloquy and a whole paragraph. A whole blood clot chapter, you know what I mean? You guys never show up. But when I make these type of videos, y'all never there. I'm always here, man. Because I'm a fan of boxing before I'm a fan of any one particular fighter. Now let's go! Maruti Mutalini from South Africa. 112-pound champion, flyweight, IBF. Great fighter, 39 wins, 2 losses, 26 draws. At an advanced age in them little weights, 37. Man still doing the damn thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, Mar Maruti Mutalini has sent out a warning to all the other world champions, inclu including Koshe Tanaka, but in particularly Julio Cesar Martinez. Ruti Mutalini wants nothing less than a unification, you know what I mean? Maruti Mutalini has looked spectacular in his recent fights, you know what I mean? He's, he's gone unbeaten since 2009, and he got himself back a world title. He was already a, a champion at 112 before that with the IBF strap, but he got his world title back in 2018, and he's had three successful title defenses, getting that money in Japan. He's beating up the Japanese. You know what I'm saying? I know he beat uh, uh, Agashi in his last fight. You know what I mean? And I think he even retired Agashi. You check it. But like I said, this man Maruti Mutalini's 37, the proud of South Africa. He ain't showing no signs of slowing down. And now he wants a unification with the WBC kingpin, Julio Cesar Martinez, a talented fighter, great fighter. I love to watch Julio Cesar Martinez fight, man. I like what he did to the man. Charlie Edwards, I sh and I've been meaning to make a video about Charlie Edwards, but that's for a whole nother video. But Julio M Cesar Martinez is that dude, and so is Mutalini, Maruti Mutalini, you know what I mean? Reminds, reminds me of guys like Baby, Baby Jake Matalala, you know what I mean? But I'll read you some quotes from what Maruti Mutalini said. He said, quote, I heard that boxing, he said, he said quote, I heard that boxing is slowly making a comeback, but let's see what's happening. My name has been mentioned for unification fights. It is every boxer's dream to fight in a unification fight and win different belts. If I get that opportunity, I will take it with both hands. I have two options to fight for unification or make mandatory defenses of my IBF title. I will sit down with my, my manager, Colin Nathan, MTK Global Head of Africa, and discuss which route we're going to take. No doubt about it, I am still feeling very strong to compete with the younger boxers and I warned them they must not think 
they will beat me because I'm old. I'm still healthy and ready to fight any top flyweight in the world. I think I'm ready for anyone, but I'd like to fight the WBC champion as I can have that opportunity to make boxing, to make history by holding two world, two world belts. During this lockdown, I spent most of the time with my family, but I've also kept busy with training at home. Even though it's not the same like training in the boxing gym, it's better than not training at all. End quote. This is a coming from a guy who's beating the likes of Zulani Tete. Knocked Zulani Tete out. Beat guys like um, Joel Casamero. You know what I mean? You check it. So this guy's a formidable champion. And look, man, he can carve his way into the Hall of Fame right about now. All he got to do is beat these guys in unifications, really and truly. You know what I mean? One of the best little men we've had in the last 10 years or more. You know what I'm saying? And uh, a fight with him. Wow. How he beat Akira Yagashi was impressive. But a fight versus Julio Cesar Martinez, that's what we want to see. As you can see in the thumbnail... That white dude standing there next to him, that's also uh, Manny Pacquiao's promo uh, manager. I forgot his name. It's somebody Gibbons or some uh, Sean Gibbons, if I ain't mistaken. He also manages guys like um, uh, Ankahas and numerous other guys, you know what I mean? Uh, um, Jake Tapora. He's been bringing, bringing guys to the United States for fights on American television. He needs to do the same for this guy, Maruti Mutalini. Where does this guy, Julio Cesar Martinez, fight? He fights on the zone. That's in the United States. Bring Maruti Mutalini over there, Sean Gibbons, as his manager. Get him these unification fights. And let's see if Maruti Mutalini can make history and carve himself a path on the way to Canada Store to New York for the Boxing Hall of Fame. Be Marsh Boxing, leave your thoughts and comments. I'm looking forward to see how many people gonna come troll me for this video. I can guarantee you it won't be many, if any. But when I make a video about guys like uh, Anthony Joshua and Lomachenko, you know, the usual suspects, favorite fighters. And I'm a fan of Lomachenko, don't get it twisted. I fucks with Lomachenko. But when he do some fuck shit like fighting Mariaga at 130 pounds, Mariaga was a featherweight and bringing him up in weight coming off a loss, I'm going to call it out. I will. I will. And it is what it is. Be Marsh Boxer, leave your thoughts and comments. I'm gone.